Fred Film Radio. I'm Matt Micucci from the 77th Venice International Film Festival, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Hilal Baidarov. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for joining us, Thank director you. of a film called In Between Dying. You know, usually I ask uh, you know, my guests to open the, uh, the interviews with uh, a question about just asking them to, to kind of give an overview of the story. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I just want to get right into it with you because uh, <laughs> there's so much to unravel for me. But, you know, would it be fair to say that this, this film is kind of like an epic journey? Yes. Yeah. It's just a story of the young person, young man, who, whose life changed in just one day and mm -hmm. accidentally. He didn't mean, uh, he, he never wanted to search the meaning of the life, just the happenings lead yeah. him differently. And there are many dates in the film, and every day he starts to change slowly and slowly and slowly. And in, in every day he starts to memorize something with his childhood. And these kind of things force him to think about the life, about the human dignity, human nature. Yeah. And at the end, he, I don't know, maybe he finds, maybe he doesn't find the, the things that he's searching in his life, the love. Sure. I, feel, I feel that he finds it, how he found it, but I never showed it. Because how I can feel it, because at the end, when the film finish, I feel that I feel calm. Right. It is just the feeling that I get from the film. There's so much that I want to ask you that I'm trying to figure out which way I will go. Mm -hmm. um, do you, do you think about death a lot? I mean, uh, you know, we are living, uh, uh, I mean, you know, half of the year I live in the Baku, in the capital city, half of the year I live in the village. And there are three graveyards near the, our house. Right. And every, if you want to come to ours, our, our home, if you want to be my guest, you have to pass three graveyards. And all my relatives are there. At least 500 people are there. And I played hide and seek and the football in between the graves when I was childhood, wow. when I was a child. That is why death is not a terrifying thing for me, it's not a horrible thing for me, it's just a part of the life, and I think about the death every day just like a life. For me, there is no any difference between life and a death. There isn't. There is no any difference between the life and the death, and I always joke to the, my friend that you can, change, you can change the title of the film in between life, ah. not only in between dying. Dying is just a... You know, when I mention the date, I start to think, I mean, start to feel something. Yes. But for me, there is no any difference between life and death. There is what no. A, what about, uh, do you think there's a difference between poetry and cinema? And I asked that because I found your film to be very poetic. You know, uh, first time I want to say that I don't like, uh, unfortunately, I don't like the world of the poetic cinema. For, because for me, the cinema by nature is poetic. If mm. it is not poetic, then it is not a cinema. If you try to make a poetic cinema, I mean, you are amateur. You don't know what the cinema is. I mean, you should make a film, and it, at the end, it becomes a poetry. Because cinema, by nature, is poetic. Yeah. And if you start to feel a storytelling, OK, it's something. I mean, I don't know what, that, what, what, what is this. I don't like that kind of things that based on the story, based on the acting, based on the music, or based on editing. No. I like, I mean, cinema, by nature, is poet, poetry, uh, poetic. But what does poetry mean to you? I mean, it connects me with my real roots. I always believe that, uh, you know, when I watch the real masterpieces, I always feel that they took me somewhere else where I have never been before, but I feel that I belong to that place. Mm. And they always give me some kind of feelings that I never feel in usual life, but this is the only feelings that I need. Is that love too? Yes, exactly. Hey, so one of the things that I delighted in in watching the film in this huge screen, mm -hmm. by the way, it's so great to be back in the cinema rooms, yes. is that sometimes I would just really admire the places where you filmed. Yes. They looked like places, timeless. It mm -hmm. looked like sometimes it was like a point at the end of the world or mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. So the beauty is also in capturing these landscapes. Right? Yes, because I think nature is one of the main characters in my films. Yes. I like to build a uh, harmony between the characters and between nature. For example, when I show the young man or young girl, and if, I, if you put the long run behind him or her, you feel that he's alone. He's alone. And, and there are too many scenes that the landscape is a face. Yeah. The characters have a face. I think they are the same. Yes. They are the same. I mean, if you show this, you know, by nature, I mean, and, uh, nature is a very mystical world. It's nature, human nature, yeah. and nature outside, inner nature. I think you have to balance, you have to make, you have to find the contact between them in order to feel the characters better. Do, do you like to spend time alone? Just be alone? Always. 
Really? Yes. Is that where you, you yeah. get most creative? Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I had a feeling. <laughs> yes, feeling. maybe, yes. You know, there's so much that I'd like to ask you, that, uh, but unfortunately we're out of time. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> it's kind of a shame. No, it's okay. Because this is one of the only good interviews I did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And this is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.